know, if you own a sawmill, there's several tools that you have to have. Even with a hydraulic sawmill like this one, you gotta have a can hook. Love this can hook right here. I got this one back when I got the LT35 in 2011. I picked it up at Woodmiser when I got the mill. Very good tool right here. You can't break them, or at least I haven't yet. Alright guys, back here at the sawmill. It is Monday. What day is it? January the 13th. This month is flying by. Let's take a look at what we got on the mill today. Got some more white pine. Alright friends, we got white pine on the sawmill today. And this is a good size one. I think it's about 13 feet long. This will be another post for the timber frame barn. So the finished dimensions will be about 10 foot and 7 inches if I remember right. But this timber should saw out pretty good. I got some knot clusters. We always see that in pine. Got some clear timber right here in the middle. That's pretty good. And with a post, the less knots, the better. That's gonna make it a lot stronger. Sometimes you just got a lot of knots on there and ain't much you can do about it. But it should be okay. And you still have these little knot clusters. Right there is a little cluster as well. But all in all, not too bad. It should make a nice post. All right, friends, I'm gonna give y'all something for free. Those of you that run sawmills for a living or a hobby or whatever, weekend warriors, it don't really matter. I'm gonna give you something to put in your toolbox that's gonna to make you a lot better of a sawyer and give you a lot of information on timber before you even saw into it. Well, there's a website called The Forestry Forum. I've been a member over there way before I even had a sawmill. I started doing research on the forum and I met a lot of great guys through the forum. Great website, free to join, tons of information on there. Just tons, and guys have been sawing for longer than I've probably been alive. Just a really good site and a good community over there. Everybody kind of helps each other. Just a good place to go if you have a question about trees, about logging or forestry, sawmilling, woodworking. They have a little topic for everything. Just a good place to be. So join the forum if you haven't already. And while you're over there, go over to the toolbox. You don't have to be a member of the forum to actually access this toolbox. Anybody can get on there. On the left side of the screen, it has a little red toolbox, if I remember right, and you click on that toolbox, there's all kinds of different uh, calculations in there. And one of them being is camp size. So go on there and just type in the size of your post, in this case, an eight by eight, and it will tell you the smallest diameter log that you need to get an eight by eight out of a post. And I think 11 and 0.3 inches is what we need on the small end diameter to get an eight by eight. And there's tons of other calculations over there. They're all free. They won't cost you nothing. All that information's on there for free. Jeff put that toolbox on there probably a long time before I was on the forum. Jeff's the owner. And it's just a great tool to have. It's awesome. I go on there all the time, especially doing this timber framing stuff. I can type in my post size and it will tell you, you know, exactly how big of a log that you need to uh, get that size. Great information. I don't know why everybody doesn't use that website. Just for the toolbox, if not anything else. And so what I do is I type that in and it says I need a little over 11 inches on the small end. And I'll come down here and measure the small end. This one's 15 inches. The large end down there away from us is 17. So therefore, you know you're in good shape and you'll be able to get an eight by eight post out of this. And believe me, that is very valuable to know, especially if you're sawing for a living. If you need to saw four by fours or eight by eights for somebody, you need to know that that log is going to get you the post size that you need. You got to know that. It's going to save you so much more time and a lot of weighing. Hopefully you'll have a nice square timber as well. So put that in your toolbox, guys. That is free information. Bookmark that side. I'm going to put it down below. Put it on your smartphone. If you don't have a smartphone, put it on your computer or what have you, you know, get that somewhere where you can reference back to it when you need it, because it will save you a lot of time and money, and especially if you're buying logs for a living like I do, you buy a lot of timber, and you wanna make sure you get the right size log for the project you're working on. And two more things here, guys, and we will turn on that engine, I promise. Next up is this white pine with that crotch at the very top of it. That will be very interesting. Hopefully we'll get this post knocked out pretty fast and open this one up today and see what's hiding underneath there. 
And the second thing is we hit 70,000 subscribers today on this YouTube channel, 70,000. I started this channel in November of 20, 2015. I put my first video out around December. I think the first of December, I put the one man logging video out. Go back and watch that one. Well, that was some rough stuff right there. My editing skills were pretty bad. But we had to start somewhere, and here we are four years later. No, was it four years later? Yeah, well, yeah, four years later. It'd be five years actually come this November. So four years later, and we're at 70,000. So I appreciate you guys for helping me get here. My overall goal when I started this channel was 100,000 subscribers. I hope to be there maybe by this time next year. We'll see what happens. And uh, one last thing, everybody on Patreon, I appreciate you guys supporting me over there. It means a whole lot to me, and I uh, can't thank you guys enough. So let's warm up this Yanmar and get solid. Using the seven degree blade again today, the regular seven degree blade with a thickness of 045. It's the thinner of the seven degree blades that we use here at the mill. No 747s today, but this seven degree blade is really doing well, so I'm pretty happy about it.
promised, we're going to open up this pine and see what's underneath it. I've got to take Bruno to basketball practice in about 30 minutes. So all we're going to get done is take the skim cut off the top of this timber and take a look at what's hiding under the bark. It may not be nothing. It may just be some plain old pine underneath there, nothing special, but something different. I've never tried this before, so I guess I'll take you guys along with me and see what happens. It might turn out pretty good, though. We should be positive. It's going to be a good log. Really good log. Fantastic crotch figure, just like Walnut. We'll see. So this is what we're looking at, guys. I got the crotch on the very far end and the small end on the operator side. Kind of hard to do it justice right here on the size of it. It's a pretty good size log. Here's a side view, got a lot of knot clusters on it as usual with pine. And based on what we see under that little crotch area down there is gonna be how I base my decisions on how we're gonna saw it. So let's open this one up real fast and see what we got to work with. 